What's up with you and the boy Troy Ave? Because you go hard for him. Why don't you like Troy Ave or at least appreciate what he's done? He's a liar. He's a pathological liar, and I can't fathom that. When you get on radio and you say shit like, you know, I bought New York City back with what record? You didn't. You haven't had a record yet. Um, I don't have an issue with Troy Ave. I think his music is mediocre, and he like tried to like portray this image that he was like making greater music than everybody in the city when he wasn't like, a fraud rapper. Like he never was a drug dealer. Like his dude is just weird. You know what I mean? So. That's really it. It's no issues with Troy Ave. I bothered him for five years, like, just on social media, just, you know, just calling him out on different And I've been harassing him for five years, so he needs to stop it, you know. He... Y'all already know how I feel about this. If you haven't heard him, check my YouTube shorts and you'll get my take on who's right, who's wrong, who's snitching, who's not. But we're going to hear all of it. I'm not going to say from the horse's mouth, but we're going to say from the victim's brother. Banger's brother put out a little interview. We're going to listen to what he has to say and what the details are from out the courtroom. Not speculation, not what this guy's saying, not what that guy's saying. He's going to give us a straight rundown on what's going on from the paperwork in the courtroom. So let's get to that, and I'll check y'all out on the other end. Let's go. Facing attempted murder or tax stone. And the weapons, the weapons that was in the car, and the weapon he took from Tax Stone, before he was even before Tax Stone was even charged, he was charged with the gun and the feds. So when basically, the, when he well, when he went to the feds for the gun, fell in the possession. Somebody in South Carolina proved that he got the gun from them, brought it to New York. After the situation happened, Urban Plaza, they ran the DNA on the gun and saw his DNA, and they traced it back to South Carolina saw that he brung the gun to New York and in the venue, thus charging him with the gun possession uh, across the state lines from the possession. He, he was given the opportunity to, to get a, a, a bail package. The judge denied it, and his, him and his attorney wrote a full letter about Troy Ave, talking about my brother had an open case, all types of stuff. This is, on a, this is before he's charged. That's it. I'm so, not going to say too much because... Yesterday in court, hold on, hold on. Yesterday in court, yesterday in court, while they was cross examining Troy Ave, Tax Stone lawyer allegedly quoted me from a from a, a conversation, a past conversation in Clubhouse. So I'm just going to speak to the facts, and that's what I'm saying. If we're going to talk him. about Ave, we're going to talk about before Ave was signed to any agreement. Tax Stone was the first person who said anything about anybody and it had nothing to do with the fact that that case wasn't even on his lap yet yep. he had a gun charge and he wrote a full statement then tried to tell about his attorney did it that's your attorney the attorney cannot do nothing without your approval bottom line i mute my mic hey, there it is. when i told y'all when i came Miami in here and told y'all y'all said i was a fan y'all said i was lying yeah, they yeah, they what, about the gun exactly what about the gun case? Did that just go away? Wait, the gun, the gun case, tax gun case, is separate from the case. That's a federal charge because the felon possession of a weapon. Yeah, did federal. he have a gun too? Troy, Troy had a gun too, right? Troy, Troy had he had he had a tax gun and he had two other guns in the car. His two guns that was in the car in the stash box did not go into the venue. So he is charged with being on camera shooting that at tax. That's the gun charge. That's the possession. Because even after the, the the situation happened, he was in possession of that weapon. They secured his his vehicle, and it was the, that gun and two other guns in the vehicle. That's what he's charged with. Right. So he's still fighting that case right now, right? That case is currently still open. He's still out on bail for that case. Correct. Okay. Cool. The ones right. that was found in the car, correct? The ones that was found in the car and the same and the other gun is a possession. And, and let me ask you this. Let it let it reflect, right? He did not, Troy Ave did not tell on Tax Stone when he first got locked up for that incident. Nah, the DA, the, listen, I'm speaking, and I told y'all before, I wasn't speaking on nothing until I got facts, right? And people were like, yo, why? I'm in court so I can get the facts. I don't want to hear no third party stories. I want to see the facts rolled out in court because it's been all these so called experts who've been in the building, but, you know, you know how that'd go that got all this to say about what happened, what didn't happen. So in the courts, though, we get in the facts of, of what happened. So you just asked me, what about the um, situation? When he first got locked up, Tax Stone did not get locked up, correct? Correct, when Troy and was first, when he was first arrested, he was arrested immediately after because they, they, they had him on camera shooting that 
So they didn't have the details of what happened. So they arrested him. They made him a suspect and they made Casanova a suspect. Tass wasn't even a suspect yet until they ran the DNA. Yeah, exactly. Right. So and if if Troy Ebb would have been ratting, it would have been black and white. He would have gave him a statement of Tack Stone right then and there. Correct? The D, right. The DA said at trial, this is facts, that originally there was no statement and Troy Ebb refused to talk to the to law enforcement up until months later after he found out that tax sent the letter to the judge correct that's my understanding clip that y'all that letter came out on april 11th he did not sign any cooperation with any da's until april 26th and remember at this time tax stone was not charged in the murder his letter his letter clearly states that that he was read the letter it says he was not charged as of yet in that case he was running exactly exactly it wasn't until tax stone and i don't know if you noticed he uh he tweeted at the troy ave and wolf guy and the maserati on christmas tax stone tweeted that wasn't in, in, incidental he tweeted something that implicated him in all that coincidental Co coincidental let me say this too right and i think that's what a lot of people is not understanding that uh all the facts that came out prove proven facts his attorney has not been able to dispute is that he is the person who brung that weapon into the venue no if and buts about that his attorney's only defense you're in court, you come to court, it's still child is still going on, it's a free place to be. Bunch of people wanted to pull up yesterday and watch Troy Ave testify. Open to the public. You see for yourself. His only defense, and this is this has to be something that the defendant agrees to. His only defense is Troy Ave did it. Come on, are we serious? And that he did it other crimes. Try to tell him. Like he bringing up other articles yeah. or other other yeah, they, podcasters they, they, they and they other try, niggas. They that... to, yeah, they, they, they try to turn my brother into a hitter on uh, doing this. On this. I was in the courtroom before Av testimony. Taking Av testimony out of the whole conversation, his own man's cooked him. Cass cooked him. That's a federal wiretap. <laughs> the feds knew what happened the same night tapping Malcolm's phone. The same night, they said the judge. They, when they tried to stop that audio of Castanova calling Malcolm, the same person who tax met with the night it happened, the same person he stayed with in California for two weeks. When they played that audio from the night of, and Cass leaving the venue, talk about, "Yo, tax just shot." This is you can't dispute that. The jury heard that in this trial. That audio was played. That wire attack is what got them to get Malcolm, his man, to start talking about the situation with him and Tax and Tax telling him what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, how you arguing his man's both implicating him in the situation? You can't you can't argue that the jury heard that. That's it. No matter how anybody outside in clubhouse in the streets on YouTube feel about it, it's those twelve jurors and what what's being presented to those jurors. And prior to Troy Ave coming in, prior to Troy Ave coming in, there wasn't no reasonable doubt on what's going on here. And I'm keeping it a hundred. I'm I'm been sitting there being fair in the situation. If he presented something else that made me shift my mind, then I would say that. But I ain't listen. It, it, it's going the way we've been. Know it's going to happen. That boy did what he did, and that's that. Y'all heard it straight from the horse's mouth, man. Straight from the horse's mouth. That was the man whose brother passed away. That was Banger's brother. The female voice that you heard on the line. That was Troy Ave's baby mother. Troy Ave's girl. But they are right there. They're present. They're in the courtroom. You know my man. He wasn't dealing with Troy Ave for a minute. You know right afterwards. Because Troy Ave wasn't talking. He didn't know what was going on. But uh, he's seeming to be sticking by him. So y'all tell me how y'all feel about it in the comment section. Did you find out some more information? Did you find out something you didn't know? You know. Uh, change your mind a little bit. Or you always been standing firm on this one. Let me know in the comment section if you made it to this point in the video. You are my MVP. It was a stone group, my man. And I'm out of here. Well, I've been harassing him for five years, so he needs to stop it. You know, he knows.